In the hallowed halls of television history, few characters have left as unforgettable a mark as Penny, the healthy girl next door from The Big Bang Theory. With her widespread laugh and heart of gold, Penny captured the hearts of millions, becoming an icon of the modern sitcom era. Why I shouldn't be the best bisexual lowly transforming into a killer gorilla anyone's ever seen. Woman, you are playing with forces beyond your ken. Yeah, well, your ken can kiss my Barbie. But as with all beloved characters, time marches on and the question lingers. What became of Penny? Where is she now? After bidding farewell to the laughter-filled night spent with Leonard, Sheldon, and the gang. And where's the rest of the crew as well? Join us as we unravel how Penny and the rest of the crew from the Big Bang Theory are presently faring. The Unstoppable Rise of Kaylee Cuoco Born on a sunny day in Camarillo, California, on November 30th, 1985, Kaylee Christine Cuoco hails from a close-knit family. As the eldest child, she shares her home with her mom, Lane Ann, who manages their household, and her dad, Gary Carmine Cuoco, a dedicated realtor. Her younger sister, Brianna, made waves appearing on The Voice during its fifth season, and the siblings would later go on to collaborate on the show, The Flight Attendant. As a child, Kaylee developed interest in tennis and her affinity for the sport bloomed pretty early. She began swinging a racket at the age of three and swiftly rose through the ranks, going on to become one of the nation's top players. So acting wasn't Kaylee's first love. Before she became famous for acting, she spent a lot of time auditioning for commercials. After trying again and again, she finally got her big break. Her face was all over TV screens in commercials for Barbie dolls and KFC chicken. Then she scored a role in a TV movie called Quicksand, No Escape back in 2002. The next year, Cuoco landed a role alongside iconic actors Denzel Washington and Russell Crowe in a movie called Virtuosity. In an interview from 2020 with Emmy magazine, Cuoco shared a memorable moment when Washington graciously let her sit in his flashy red sports car. Once filming was done, Cuoco's parents wanted to make sure she understood the gravity of pursuing acting as a career. They sat her down and asked, Are you sure about this? Acting is a serious business. But Cuoco's response was unwavering. At just 16 years old, she was already certain that fame was her destiny. Despite being relatively new to the industry, Cuoco had already felt the thrill of performing and knew it was where she belonged. Consequently, she left her tennis aspirations behind and fully committed to acting. Between the year 2000 and 2001, Cuoco made appearances on the CBS sitcom Ladies' Man and showcased her talent in two television movies. In one, she portrayed Maureen McCormick in Growing Up Brady, and in the other, she starred in the Disney Channel original movie Alley Cat Strike. By the age of 17, Cuoco landed her big break as Bridget Hennessy in ABC's Eight Simple Rules for Dating My Teenage Daughter, marking the beginning of her journey to stardom. Despite being six years younger than the actress who portrayed her character's younger sister, Kaylee Cuoco confidently assumed the role of the eldest daughter in the Hennessy family, showcasing her versatility and acting skills. While filming the final season of Eight Simple Rules, Cuoco juggled multiple projects simultaneously demonstrating her dedication to her craft. In addition to her on-screen commitments, Cuoco's voice talent extended to Disney's animated series Brandy and Mr. Whiskers, where she brought the character of Brandy Harrington, a human-like dog, to life. This role highlighted her ability to captivate audiences through both visual and vocal performance. Between 2004 and 2005, she lent her voice to the character Kristen Smith in the popular animated series Bratz, bringing the sassy and fashionable doll to life on screen. At 2007, Cuoco took a significant leap in her career by starring in the touching Lifetime movie To Be Fat Like Me, portraying the challenges and societal pressures faced by a teenage girl struggling with body image issues. This role showcased Cuoco's versatility as an actress, delving into more serious themes beyond the realm of animation. Expanding her repertoire further, Cuoco made notable guest appearances in two episodes of the thrilling series Prison Break, adding a dash of interest to her resume. Additionally, she added a touch of humor to the horror genre with her role in the comedy horror spoof killer movie in 2008, demonstrating her ability to navigate diverse genres with ease. Her pivotal role in the eighth season of the beloved TV series Charmed marked a turning point in her career trajectory. Portraying the character Billy Jenkins, a telekinetic young witch with the power of projection, 
Cuoco captured the audience's imagination with her blend of charm and supernatural abilities. Interestingly, Brad Kern, the executive producer of Charmed, later revealed that Cuoco's character was introduced to launch a spin-off series centered around Billy Jenkins, underscoring Cuoco's potential as a leading actress. Despite the spin-off project not materializing, Cuoco's journey was far from over. As she embarked on the next phase of her career, she was poised to face both her greatest successes and challenges yet, cementing her status as one of Hollywood's most versatile and talented actresses. The Evolution of the Big Bang Theory The Big Bang Theory burst onto TV screens with a bang, captivating audiences across America. This beloved sitcom, which Chuck Lorre and Bill Prady dreamed up, found its home on CBS. But its journey to success wasn't smooth sailing from the start. Initially, the show's pilot didn't quite hit the mark. Lorre, Prady, and their main writer, Stephen Malaro, had to roll up their sleeves and revamp the whole concept. The first version introduced people to Sheldon and Leonard, the brainy duo people come to adore, but someone vital was missing, Penny. In her place stood Katie, a tough cookie with a soft center. However, viewers weren't feeling the vibe, especially towards Katie. Fortunately, Sheldon and Leonard stole the spotlight, winning hearts left and right. Lori and Prady seized a rare opportunity to redeem their creation. They brought back Sheldon, represented by the talented Jim Parsons as the quirky yet endearing physicist. Leonard is played by Johnny Galecki, whose social skills balance out Sheldon's abnormalities, making him the reliable anchor of the group. With this dynamic duo leading the charge, the Big Bang Theory was ready to conquer the small screen. This time, the people in charge of the show decided to bring in Kaylee Cuoco to take on the role of Penny. She portrays a lovely young woman with dreams of becoming an actress, hailing from Omaha. Penny's journey begins when she moves into the apartment right across from Sheldon and Leonard. Working at the Cheesecake Factory, she brings a fresh breeze into the lives of her nerdy neighbors, shaking things up in unexpected ways. As the show evolved, Lori and Prady introduced two more characters, Simon Helberg as Howard Wolowitz, an aerospace engineer who exudes more confidence than charm, and Kunal Nayar, as Rajesh Kuthrapali, an astrophysicist who, despite once being unable to speak, now comfortably embraces his feminine side. Lori, reflecting on the show's development, candidly admitted, When they first attempted the Big Bang pilot about two and a half years ago, it was a flop. However, amidst the chaos, two elements shone brightly, Johnny and Jim. They completely reworked the script and were fortunate to welcome Kaylee, Simon, and Kunal into the fold. Given the show's scientific themes, the writers sought guidance from experts. David Salzberg, a professor of physics and astronomy at UCLA, joined the team as a scientific consultant. He verified scripts, refined dialogue, and ensured accuracy in mathematical equations and prop designs. Salzberg, armed with a doctorate of philosophy in physics, was not just a consultant for the Big Bang Theory. He was its scientific backbone for six seasons, carefully ensuring the accuracy of every scientific reference uttered on the show. His commitment extended to attending every single taping, providing invaluable insights and suggestions to the writers and actors. The show's setting, a live audience atmosphere, added electric energy to each episode's filming, contributing to the authentic laughter and reactions that became a trademark of the series. This format also allowed for immediate feedback, helping the writers fine-tune jokes and plot lines on the fly. Despite initial doubt from critics, the second and third seasons witnessed a remarkable surge in ratings, catapulting the Big Bang Theory into mainstream popularity. Its blend of quirky humor, endearing characters, and witty dialogue resonated with audiences, turning it into a cultural event. Cuoco's character served as the perfect foil to the intellectual eccentricities of Sheldon and Leonard, injecting a dose of normalcy and relatability into the group dynamic. This balance of personalities elevated the show beyond a mere sitcom, earning it a dedicated fan base and critical acclaim. CBC's decision to release the pilot for free on iTunes before its television premiere was a groundbreaking marketing move that helped generate buzz and anticipation for the show's debut. This innovative strategy tapped into emerging digital platforms, showcasing the network's willingness to adapt to changing viewer habits. The Writers Guild of America strike, which halted production just two months into the show's run, underscored the challenges faced by the entertainment industry at large. Three months had elapsed since the show's hiatus, 
leaving viewers eagerly anticipating its return. In its absence, the fleeting charm of the sitcom Welcome to the Captain briefly filled the void in its time slot, offering a different flavor of comedy to the audience. However, fans rejoiced when their beloved series made its triumphant comeback on March 17, 2008, albeit in an earlier time slot than before. Despite the anticipation, disappointment lingered as only 17 episodes materialized in the first season, falling short of the initially promised 22. This twist added an air of unpredictability to the show's journey, keeping viewers on their toes as they wondered what might come next. As for the stars of the series, Johnny Galecki, Jim Parsons, and Kaylee Cuoco, their journey from modest beginnings to astronomical paychecks is a tale of Hollywood success. Initially earning a humble $60,000 per episode during the show's fledgling seasons, their salaries ballooned alongside the show's popularity. By the time the fourth season rolled around, their paychecks had skyrocketed to $200,000 per episode, a substantial leap from their starting point. With each passing season, their earnings surged by an additional $50,000 for the show's enduring success and their invaluable contributions to its appeal. This remarkable trajectory continued until the show's landmark 10th season, where the trio found themselves commanding a staggering sum of nearly $1 million for each episode they appeared in. The Science and Romance Behind the Show The Big Bang Theory centers on science, especially physics, but with a humorous twist. Sheldon, Leonard, Raj, and Howard are pals and co-workers at Caltech, where they dive into science-related jobs. The episodes are filled with lively chats about scientific ideas and updates, often sprinkled with science-themed jokes. Science also mixes with their love lives, creating funny situations. For instance, when Leonard and Sheldon support string theory over loop quantum gravity, Leslie, a minor character, dumps Leonard. Another time, Leonard's months-long research trip to the Arctic separates him from Penny just when things are heating up between them. Bernadette, dating Howard then, gets curious about Leonard's work, sparking jealousy in Penny and Howard, leading to some awkward encounters and requests for physics lessons. The show brings in famous scientists as guests, like astrophysicist George Smoot, Nobel laureate Francis Arnold, physicist Brian Greene, and science communicator Neil deGrasse Tyson, which adds a touch of real scientific credibility. Sheldon's hero, cosmologist Stephen Hawking, even makes a few appearances, including a video call with Sheldon and Leonard. The gang's shared love for nerd culture, including sci-fi, fantasy, comic books, and collectibles, gives them more depth. Star Trek is a recurring theme, with actors from the original and next-gen series popping up now and then. The characters in the show are huge fans of Star Wars, Battlestar Galactica, and Doctor Who. Will Wheaton, who plays a version of himself, starts off having a tense relationship with Sheldon, but they eventually become unlikely friends. Every Wednesday they have Comic Book Night, where they go to the local comic book store owned by Stuart. On top of that, they like to dress up as their favorite characters from movies and games. They also play a bunch of games like World of Warcraft, Halo, and Mario. Leonard and Penny's relationship is a big part of the story. Leonard is always trying to win Penny's heart, even though she's dated mostly muscular but not so smart guys in the past. They start dating officially in season three, but it's not smooth sailing. Penny can't say, I love you back, so they break up. But in season six, Penny finally tells Leonard she loves him, and they're together for good. Despite some jealous moments, their relationship gets stronger, especially after Leonard comes back from a long trip to the North Sea. In the second to last episode of season seven, Leonard pops the question to Penny, and they decide to secretly get married in the final episode of season eight. By season nine, they're happily hitched, planning a big wedding celebration for their loved ones in the finale. The real surprise comes in the series finale when Penny, who once wasn't keen on having kids, reveals she's expecting, showing a beautiful progression in their relationship. Meanwhile, Sheldon and Amy, fondly known as Shamey, take viewers on a wild ride of their own. In Season 3's finale, Raj and Howard try online dating to find Sheldon a match, leading to the introduction of neurobiologist Amy Farrah Fowler. Just like Sheldon, Amy struggles with social skills, making their interactions initially awkward. However, a key moment occurs when Amy plants a kiss on Sheldon, which instead of irritating him, interests him, leading to their unique relationship, the roller coaster romance of Kaylee Cuoco. 
At 2011, Cuoco got engaged to Josh Resnick, who worked as a specialist helping people overcome addictions. They started dating in August of that year and decided to tie the knot just two months later. Their engagement lasted for five months, but unfortunately, they decided to end things in March. The reasons behind their breakup remain mostly unknown. About a year and a half after her breakup with Resnick, Cuoco crossed paths with Ryan Sweeting, a professional tennis player, on August 2013. Surprisingly, just one month after the meeting, they were ready to walk down the aisle. By December of the same year, they were husband and wife. Unlike her previous relationship, Cuoco was very open about her affection for Sweeting. They didn't shy away from showing their love, whether it was at sports events, on the red carpet, or even at the beach. One memorable occasion was when they went on a group date with Haley Duff, Matt Rosenberg, Ali Fedotowski, and Kevin Mano at Craig's, a popular restaurant in West Hollywood. Cuoco even posted a picture on Instagram of all three couples passionately kissing at the table, though it has since been taken down. Cuoco and Sweeting's whirlwind romance grabbed the attention of many fans and onlookers due to how quickly their relationship progressed. Their relationship was like a whirlwind romance, catching everyone off guard with its unexpected twists and turns. The fire and ice-themed wedding they orchestrated was nothing short of spectacular, with decorations that seemed straight out of a fairy tale, and their vows exchanged amidst an ambiance that left guests in surprise. Before tying the knot, their courtship was brief but intense. They shared intimate moments over text, which quickly led to a memorable dinner date. Remarkably, the next day he moved in, a decision that might seem rash to some, but to them, it felt like the most natural progression. Sadly, the bliss didn't last long, as their marriage hit rocky shores, leading to a swift divorce. Cuoco, in a candid interview with Cosmopolitan, revealed the heartbreaking truth that the person she ended up with was not the one she initially fell for. It was a revelation that shed light on the complexities of relationships and the unforeseen challenges that can arise. Amidst the storm of her failed marriage, Cuoco found solace in her passion for horseback riding. It was at a prestigious horse show in California where fate intervened once more, introducing her to Carl Cook, a fellow equestrian enthusiast. Their shared love for horses acted as a magnetic force, drawing them together in a bond that felt destined from the start. Their first public appearance wasn't just any red carpet event. It was the glitzy Primetime Emmy Awards, where all eyes were on Kaylee Cuoco and her then-beau professional equestrian Carl Cook. Cuoco couldn't contain her admiration for Cook's wit and charm. She often joked about how she loved poking fun at him until he couldn't help but burst into laughter, a moment that she found utterly irresistible. What made their connection even more enchanting was their shared passion for animals. Cuoco, an avid animal lover herself, found solace in Cook's equal adoration for dogs and horses, two of her greatest loves. It wasn't just a superficial checklist item for her, it was a genuine bond that strengthened their relationship from the start. Their whirlwind romance took a dramatic turn when, on Cuoco's 32nd birthday, Cook surprised her with a dazzling diamond ring and a heartfelt proposal. The moment was straight out of a fairy tale, with Cook dropping to one knee surrounded by candles and roses to ask for Cuoco's hand in marriage. And of course, she said yes. Their wedding ceremony in June of 2018 was a star-studded affair, attended by their closest friends and family members. The couple seemed to be the epitome of marital bliss, their love radiating from every photograph and interview. However, behind the scenes, there were whispers of trouble in paradise. Cuoco, with her skyrocketing career, found herself at the peak of success, while Cook navigated the challenges of being in the shadow of his famous wife. Despite their efforts to maintain a happy facade, cracks begin to show, leading to their eventual separation on September 2021. Cuoco, ever the optimist, chose to focus on her own growth and career aspirations during this challenging time. She remained determined to move forward with positivity, leaving behind a chapter of her life that was filled with both love and heartache. Even though she and Cook divorced in June 2022, Cuoco continued to support his equestrian career. Not long after their split, she found love again with Tom Pelfrey, an actor recognized for his roles in Ozark and Banshee. Some people criticized Cuoco for moving on so swiftly, but she defended herself by saying she still believes in love because of her past great relationships. 
She values partnership and companionship. Cuoco excitedly shared on Instagram on October 2022 that she and Pelfrey were expecting their first child. Their daughter, Matilda Carmine Ritchie Pelfrey, arrived on March 30, 2023. Despite their joy, they aren't rushing to marry. A close source mentioned they prioritize their commitment to each other and their family. Cuoco, having experienced two divorces and various relationships in the public eye, isn't keen on marrying again. Nonetheless, their love for each other and their adorable daughter, Matilda, remains strong. Hollywood Journey of Triumph and Compassion In October 2017, Cuoco started her very own television production company called Yes, Norman Productions. This company signed an exclusive deal with Warner Bros. Television for several years. Around the same time, in March 2017, CBS decided to renew The Big Bang Theory for its last two seasons. This meant that the show would end after its 12th season, which would air in 2018 and 2019. Reports say the decision to end the series came after Jim Parsons, who played Sheldon, announced he wouldn't continue for a 13th season. The creators, Lori and Prady, believed the show couldn't go on without Sheldon, so they began working on a spin-off called Young Sheldon. The show's finale aired on May 16, 2019, with two hour-long episodes titled The Stockholm Syndrome, marking the end of an era for the beloved sitcom. In October 2018, it was revealed that Cuoco would voice Harley Quinn in an adult animation series by DC Universe with the same name. In this project, she would also be the big boss behind the scenes. The series premiered on November 29, 2019, and everybody loved it. Fans and critics praised it a lot. Then, in September 2020, they said, We want more! So they decided to make another season and put it on HBO Max. Even though she was done playing Penny on The Big Bang Theory, Kaylee Cuoco wasn't ready to pack up and go home. She had a brand new company called Yes, Norman Productions. Her first project was making a TV show based on Chris Bojalian's book, The Flight Attendant. They turned it into a mix of comedy and drama, and people loved it. The Flight Attendant took off on HBO Max on November 26, 2020. Kaylee Cuoco was the star of the show, playing Cassie Bowden. Her sister Brianna even got a little part in it. The series did well showing off how good Kaylee Cuoco is at acting. Everybody loved it so much that they said, let's do it again. So they made a second season. The flight attendant got nominated for not just one, but two Emmy Awards. They said it was one of the best comedy series in 2021 and that Kaylee Cuoco was one of the best actresses in 2022. In August 2019, Cuoco shared exciting news. She would take on the role of executive producer for a new CBS comedy called Pretty, the show, crafted by Santina Muha and Lindsay Kraft, promised to bring laughter to audiences. Fast forward to April 2020, and Cuoco found herself in the company of Hollywood heavyweights Kevin Hart and Woody Harrelson for the action-packed comedy film The Man from Toronto, slated for release in 2022. Then in March 2021, Cuoco's team dropped another bombshell. She would step into the shoes of the legendary Doris Day for an upcoming limited series based on a biography penned by Aaron Edward Hotchner in 1976. Not content with just acting, Cuoco expanded her horizons by joining the series as an executive producer, marking another milestone in her flourishing career. With her captivating portrayal of Penny on The Big Bang Theory, Cuoco solidified her status as a top-tier celebrity with a diverse skill set. Cuoco's role as a flight attendant marked a significant shift in her career, drawing in audiences with diverse interests compared to her previous show, The Big Bang Theory. This transition isn't easy. Many actors struggle to make such a change successfully. Yet, Cuoco has managed to remain a prominent figure in Hollywood while also championing animal rights. She's outspoken about her vegetarian lifestyle and actively supports causes like the Humane Society. Recently, she joined forces with PawWorks, a nonprofit in Southern California dedicated to tackling the problem of animal overpopulation in shelters. Their mission is to educate the public and shed light on the challenges faced by abandoned animals in the state. Cuoco's commitment to both her craft and her compassion for animals makes her a standout in the entertainment industry. Furthermore, Cuoco passionately champions pit bulls, a type of dog often unfairly judged because of misconceptions about their aggressiveness. She firmly believes that a pit bull, when raised in a caring environment, will mirror that love and care. Cuoco emphasizes their historical role as nanny dogs, showing how they once lovingly cared for infants. 
Her support for them knows no bounds. She pledges to advocate for them tirelessly. To her, they rank as the most exceptional canine companions she's ever known. Kaylee Cuoco stands out as a truly exceptional individual. She has achieved remarkable success as an actor, producer, tennis player, and equestrian, while also embracing the role of a devoted mother. In every aspect of her life, she reveals the depth of her character. Despite facing heartbreaks and a severe injury that nearly cost her limb, Cuoco's resilience shines through. She demonstrates that with perseverance, dedication, and empathy, one can overcome any obstacle. The Enduring Legacy Like any popular cultural event, The Big Bang Theory was more than just a regular TV show. It became a symbol of its time, mixing humor with science and changing how people saw being nerdy. Across its 12 seasons, it gained millions of fans worldwide and made its mark on TV history with groundbreaking achievements and awards. What's even more impressive is how it lasted so long. In an age where TV shows often disappear quickly among so many entertainment choices, The Big Bang Theory not only kept its audience but grew over time. Each episode, with its mix of funny moments and touching scenes, drew in people from all over the world, no matter their age, background, or where they lived. The Big Bang Theory touched hearts around the globe with its timeless messages of love, friendship, ambition, and the quest for meaning. It wasn't just another popular show, it became a global sensation, echoing deeply with audiences everywhere. But its importance wasn't just in its massive viewership numbers. It accomplished something truly remarkable by making science understandable and exciting for everyone. From unraveling complex equations on whiteboards to delving into the mysterious concept of Schrodinger's cat, the Big Bang Theory celebrated the joy of academic curiosity. It wasn't merely about entertainment, it inspired viewers to delve into the mysteries of the universe, often leading to late-night Google sessions in search of enlightenment. This unique fusion of fun and learning paved the way for other shows to explore intellectually enabling themes, establishing the Big Bang Theory as a trailblazer in its own right. The show received a multitude of awards, ranging from technical achievements to recognition for outstanding performances. These accolades not only recognize its impact on entertainment, but also honor the dedication and talent of its entire cast and crew. Their dedication to creating both funny and touching moments at a consistently excellent standard shines through in the abundance of happy outtakes, backstage glimpses, and interviews that fans have treasured for years. However, the true mark of the Big Bang Theory's impact lies in the remarkable ascent of its cast members. When the show first aired, many of its actors were relatively unknown, with little experience in TV or movies. Yet, as the show soared in popularity, so did their careers. They went from being relatively unknown to being globally recognized stars. They became icons in their own right, celebrated for their invaluable contributions to the show. What are your thoughts on Penny's past and present life after the Big Bang Theory? Let us have your opinions in the comments below.